University of California. Um, uh, picking up uh, from where Charlie left off, I'd like to take this moment to uh, review and reflect on uh, the burden, the task that um, Secretary Napolitano will have to take on when she becomes President Napolitano. Um, and that I think it will take all of us uh, to come to the table to, to fix. Um, in review, since 2008, we have seen a $100 million increase in annual executive payroll, $300,000 <coughs> per year pensions for UC's highest paid employees, subsidized by low-wage workers, students, patients, and taxpayers. UC managers and executive staff grew at three times the rate of nurses and almost four times the rate of frontline patient care workers. We've seen a 20% decline in in-state enrollment and a doubling of out-of-state enrollment. We've seen a skyrocketing tuition and, in, in tuition and graduate program fees. UC's debt burden has doubled to more than $14 billion. Tens of millions of dollars wasted on reckless Wall Street derivative investments, and thank you very much for your research, Charlie. Thousands of layoffs, reductions in course offerings, and student services. Chronic understaffing, despite billions in profits of taxpayers subsidized UC teaching hospitals, and yesterday we reviewed the dire consequences of that, specifically at Hillcrest Hospital. We've seen immediate jeopardy findings, lagging patient satisfaction, substandard patient safety ratings, preventable deaths, and to quote Vice President Jack Stobo, a clinical care enterprise that quote, doesn't do so well. Growing privatization of public university research, open hostility towards the workers at the backbone of the UC system, thousands of whom quality for some form, qualify for some form of public assistance. Now, Mr. Udoff will claim that this was all somehow out of his control. The state budget cuts, which comprise around 10% of UC's total budget, gave UC no choice but to raid the pockets of its students, patients, its lowest wage workers, and California taxpayers. Seriously? Then explain to California taxpayers why executive payroll increased so dramatically these past five years. Explain why we are paying $300,000 to public employee pensions to President Udoff's pension at a time our hospitals and campuses are so dangerously understaffed and our kids, my kids, are being priced out of college. Yesterday, this body voted to once again raise fees on graduate student nurses, and you endorse the idea of forcing low-wage workers to pay for these oversized executive entitlements. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. California is watching to see if now we can begin to get its, our priorities straight. It's time that we do.